In this WP Auto blog review, I'm going to show you how you can automate a thousand word plus blogs which are SEO friendly to explode your website traffic in less than five minutes. For those of you who don't know what WP Auto blog is, it's a simple little tool that lets you generate professional AI articles at scale. It helps skyrocket your organic traffic with high quality content and you can post it automatically. From creating SEO optimized blogs, incorporating real photos and videos, it's got smart auto linking for backlinks, plagiarism checkers and so much more. But the real beauty of this is you can connect this in two to three clicks straight to your WordPress website and set this up on autopilot. Hello my name is Marty Englander from Brainy Automations where I teach clever little automations to non-developers so you can automate your entire business and enjoy a more free life. If you have any questions about WP Auto Blogger, go ahead and drop them below. I tend to reply within a few minutes to a couple of hours and I'll also leave a special discounted link that I'll keep updated so you always get your money's worth. Here we are inside W Auto Blog. You'll notice it's an extremely simplistic dashboard with the core navigation at the top. The dashboard shows how many articles have been completed, how many articles I've scheduled out and how many articles are currently processing. Then it will also show all the articles that have been generated for your convenience. We're going to jump over to the keyword research tab because it's got a built-in keyword research tool and you can research keywords depending on language. We're going to stick to English. This specific topic we're going to try TikTok. We now have all of these different keywords that we can start looking at and it will sort it by the competition level and the cost per click as well as the searches. We can see that this specific keyword TikTok to MP4 has quite a lot of searches a relatively good cost per click but very little competition. So we're going to grab TikTok to MP4, go back over to our dashboard, go to post scheduler and now we can enter in keywords to have WP Auto Blog auto generate blogs for us. And I'm also going to type in these other keywords as well. We can change the language, choose if we want to have it scheduled, and then we can connect our website. Now we've not yet connected our website, so let's go ahead and do that. At the top of our screen, we're going to connect WordPress. And right here has a step-by-step -step instruction on how to do this, but it's pretty simple. I'm going to be connecting just this little automated website I've built, which reposts my videos. And if you want to learn more about that, head over to brainyautomations.com. So I'm going to add in the URL and we want to white label this connection. So we're going to say, yes, I approve of this connection. We can then change the post status. So every single time a blog is generated, have it automatically published or set it as draft. I'm going to set it as draft and then do save setting. Now that's done. We'll go back to post scheduler, paste in our keywords and now our website has been connected and you can add multiple websites. The internal link is a really nifty feature as it will add internal backlinks inside your blogs, which is vital for on-page SEO. We can include images and also YouTube videos. And if we want to add an FAQ, just select yeah. Once you've done that, click create articles. And now on the right, it's now generating those articles for us. But the beauty of this is that it will just keep on creating articles for us over and over and over, as well as keywords you can also generate articles based on titles. So it will actually use the title, do some research on the title and optimize blogs for that title. Heading back to the dashboard, we can now see we've got one article scheduled and two articles processing. Each article can take three to four minutes. So let's come back in three to four minutes. It's been approximately two to three minutes and two videos have already been generated. Let's go ahead and have a look at this one. So we're gonna go into the editor and we've got our featured image. We've got a heading one. So this is the main title. We've got text here. Step one, finding the TikTok video you want to convert. These are heading two tag and you can see this is all congruent with what it is we actually wanted and it's got images and even a video right there. It's got our FAQs and that looks pretty good to me. You can also download the document which downloads as a Word file or whatever is your default file at the time and there it is. Heading into the admin area of our WordPress site you can see I've now got three draft posts that have been automatically uploaded to my website. 
So let's go ahead and preview them all. How to easily convert TikTok videos to MP4 format. We've got the featured image and we've got all of the words right here. That actually looks really, really good. Then we've got goodbye to watermarks. And again, looks really good as well. We've got the video embedded. Look how long this blog actually is. And finally, how to download TikTok videos. And here we have the image, step one, step two, etc. And again, this looks really good and long. But let's go ahead and grab all of this text and head over to Grammarly, which is a plagiarism detection tool. It's giving us an 87 out of 100 score, which means that it's a pretty high quality reading. It's also approximately 1,700 words and the readability is above average. But let's have a look at the plagiarism. It's got about a 13% plagiarism score, but let's just have a look to see what sort of plagiarism it is. Are we talking about one sentence per one sentence or are we looking at entire paragraph. So here this is 1% which is a nothingness, another 1%, another 1% and not just that but we can actually see the type of blog these actually are. So this is a VPN based blog, this is an APK installer, ChatGPT, streamer for Twitch. This is TikTok related, but it's about pixels. And overall, it's about downloading and pixels and TikTok, but it's not actually about our main topic. So the plagiarism isn't actually bad at all. So what do I think of WP Auto Blog? And do I think it's worth it? Well, I'm a big fan of tools that make your life easy. We all know that in business, time is money, and we don't always have the time to learn complicated systems on how to set them up. What WP Auto Blog's done is they've made everything almost a one-click setup, meaning the learning curve on how to get up and running really isn't that difficult. They've then incorporated a keyword research tool that makes our life easier Easy. Often we need to pay outrageous prices to do keyword research, but they've again simplified and created an all in one system. So that makes things really nice. The fact that they've also included an internal backlinking feature, which will automatically scan your website for existing posts and create backlinks from the new post to the existing post in the most relevant way is a massive win. And there's not many solutions on the market right now that does this. The blog that have been created are long, the word counts are a thousand plus, and it's all congruent. It all makes sense, which is exactly what we want. It doesn't use jargon, it, and it reads at a readable standard for most people, which is a big win for Google. It optimizes the structure and the text of everything. It's all optimized, meaning we will get those search terms ranked and we'll start getting more and more traffic to our blogs which means more eyeballs on our offers, which means more sales. So would I recommend WP Auto Blog? Yes, I would. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.